The Jeep Wagoneer will return, a legendary name from the brand's rear catalog, previously used on the ancestors of today's mainstream SUVs. It will complement the fancier Grand Wagoneer to make a family of three-line truck-based SUVs for the Jeep brand, which both target domestic and imported stalwarts. We've looked at the Grand Wagoneer concept, and we expect the regular Wagoneer to emerge as a slightly more mainstream take on broad concept strokes. That's a big question among observers, and a major clue lurking in plain sight is the Grand Wagoneer concept, the Jeep's lack of badging. Like the new Ford Bronco family, the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer will serve as sovereigns under the broader Jeep umbrella. Both will sit atop the Grand Cherokee in the lineup, and both will use the same Ram 1500-based platform and three-row layout. Think of the Grand Wagoneer as more of a Denali version, aimed at the more premium derivatives of the vehicles, the Cadillac Escalade, the Yukon Denali, and the Lincoln Navigator. Prices, equipment and materials should reflect this market position, but it's not clear how the differences will be communicated in terms of interior and exterior styling. Interestingly enough, size has nothing to do with it. Both the Grand Wagoneer and the regular Wagoneer will be offered in the form of a short distance and a long wheelbase. It's our understanding that a short wheelbase version will be offered first. We hope that the wheelbase differences are similar to those of the Ford Expedition and the larger Max variant, the Jeep's longer wheelbase will not affect seating capacity but will provide more cargo space behind the third row. At a high level, no. Both will be based on the Ram 1500 frame, meaning body on frame construction, although the Jeep will adopt an independent rear suspension. We also expect both of them to dip their weight in the powertrain 1500 options, which include the 3.6-liter V6 and the 5.7-liter V8. We expect Jeep to offer the mild hybrid e kit as an option on the last engine. Turbo diesel and plug-in hybrid powertrains are certainly possible, and Jeep could even decide to build a version of the Trailhawk that packs a supercharged V8 that makes north 700 horsepower. How Jeep divides this possibility between the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer remains to be seen, 